laser fluorometer nanoparticle using nanoships of gold, silver and gold nanoships. The co-author Mr. Chegel and, co and co-author Nazarenko. To make our presentation in English because uh, Alena asked me uh, there is problem with uh, translation. Uh, so uh, this work uh, was performed in two institute in Institute of Biochemistry and Institute of uh, Semiconductor Physics, and this work uh, devoted to the actual uh, uh, problem with uh, surface enhancement on the. Uh, uh, <coughs> high conductive films, and uh, the main goal of our presentation was to uh, perform, to develop the method of surface enhancement of fluorescence, and to uh, develop the uh, device, uh, special device for this method. Uh, this uh, same is very uh, important for our in the world, and uh, uh, here you you can see the method where surface enhancement is applied. This is surface enhancing Raman spectroscopy, <coughs> infrared absorption, enhancing in biosensing, and our method, sorry, and our <coughs> our method is fluorescence. Uh, enhancing of fluorescence. Okay. Uh, the task of our work was uh, at first developing of the background for fluorescence enhancement, uh, the modeling of nanostructure and nanochips, design of device and nanochips, preparation of plasmon enhanced nanostructures, and preparation of plasmon enhanced nanochips, and manufacturing of device, and the testing of our device on practice. Uh, <clears throat> at first, we uh, work with a theoretical, theoretical background. Uh, it knows that uh, we can <clears throat> calculate the uh, absorption properties of the nanoparticles using me theory. It's here. Uh, so using uh, this theoretical background, uh, we can <clears throat> follow the enhancement, sorry, enhancement around the, our nanoparticles. Okay. So here is uh, enhancement around nanoparticles with different <laughs> diameter. And there, <clears throat> uh, as a result, we have uh, the similar graphics where we can uh, uh, know how enhancement will be produced with uh, nanoparticles with different diameter and with uh, uh, wavelengths of the plasmon resonance. So we can, uh, using me theory, we can calculate calculate the enhancement of the uh, uh, electric field depend on the diameter and the wavelengths of the irradiation. But it, uh, the MIS theory can be applied only for uh, 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 spherical nanoparticles. But our goal was to develop the nanochips, nanochips uh, with, uh, nano, uh, with nanostructure uh, with different forms. And uh, we are forced to use another technique and other methods, so to uh, calculate the pro optical properties of the mm -hmm. nanostructure with different forms, we use finite difference time domain FDTD method. This method uh, allowed to uh, calculate the optical properties of the nanostructure with different forms. For example, here is for uh, semispherical nanoparticles. Here is for the nanoparticles uh, with cubic forms. Uh, FDTD method allow us to uh, calculate the enhancement of electric field for our nanochips. Our nanochips 
you see here, it's a massive it's array of the nanostructures, gold or silvers, and using FDT method, we can calculate the enhancement of, like, of electric field for this massivus. You see the uh, distribution of the electric field on the uh, surface of the uh, our nanoparticles, and uh, you can see that uh, the uh, most enhancements occurs between between nanoparticles, not on the around nanoparticles. Uh, <clears throat> because at present point, moment there are no special equipment for uh, development of the uh, nanostructures uh, uh, on the surface, uh, development of the nanochips, uh, we are sought to uh, develop the special device. This device, nanoplasmon, allowed to work with uh, microscopic glass and with usual cuvette. And we can uh, prepare the, our nanostructure on the microscopic glass. It is very important in the process of the development of the nanomassives. Uh, this uh, device was patented in Ukraine. Uh, to uh, manufacture the <coughs> nanochips, we use several techniques. And uh, to uh, develop the nanoship with ordered massive, with ordered massive, ordered massive is uh, more preferable in this technique. We use uh, three technology. This is a technology uh, nano imprint lithography. Uh, second, it is laser interference lithography. And the next one, it is nanosphere lithography. Uh, the <coughs> This three technology is very complicated technology, and uh, the condition of the Ukraine it's uh, very difficult to uh, apply this technology. So, uh, in any case, in any case, this technology is preferable. Most preferable, this is uh, nano imprint, nano imprint technique, because this technique allows us to uh, obtain the nanostructure with very, very different forms. But in the condition of the Ukraine, this are more preferable to use more simple techniques. We use uh, mostly the techniques that <clears throat> allow us to uh, get nanochips uh, with uh, operation of the island films of uh, gold or silver uh, with next uh, annealing, with next annealing. So you, you can see the surface and the spectra of this uh, uh, of these uh, <coughs> nanostructures, but uh, it's known that to enhance the uh, fluorescence, we uh, must cover cover the nanoparticles with dielectric layer. It can be different dielectric. We use uh, CO2. We use CO2 with different thickness. And uh, uh, you can see uh, the uh, spectra for different uh, thickness of CO2. But uh, CO2 is not a uh, uh, single method. Uh, we also use uh, the layer by layer LBL technology with different uh, charge uh, polymers, with different charge polymers. This technology allows us to, to make, uh, to make uh, suffers with different uh, thickness, with different number of uh, layers. And this is precise, precise technique because uh, one layer is close to two nanometers, so we can precisely uh, define the thickness of the, the electric on the surface. Uh, but for um, surface enhancing uh, fluorometry, uh, on the nanochips, nanochip, it's uh, very important to know influence of the uh, support of the uh, optical transparent support on the, our response. So we uh, uh, <coughs> developed the special uh, technology. This is new technology uh, using a green function formalism uh, to uh, know the influence of the support on the uh, fluorescence response. Uh, in this technology, we use uh, green function formalism. Uh, 
that allow us to estimate the influence of the support. And as a result, we, are, uh, we have these this graphics, this graphics where we know that uh, <coughs> the most, most enhancement of uh, electric field and uh, uh, as a result, the most uh, 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 signal of the fluorescence uh, can be uh, reached on the, diff uh, on the special distance, distance uh, from the surface for different uh, radius of the nanoparticles, of the nanostructures. This different can be uh, changes. And uh, uh, for example, this graph uh, uh, results in a fluorescence response with different uh, CO2 coating. Uh, this uh, graph uh, shows us some ex extremum, extremum that we, that we uh, observe on our with our experimental works. Here is our experimental results. It's a, a surface enhancement of the uh, rhodamine, of the rhodamine with different uh, thickness of CO2 on the surface of the nanostructures. Uh, you see, we have the same, uh, the, behavior, the same behavior of the fluorescence enhancement with different thickness of CO2. The same. Uh, the same uh, behavior we uh, also obtain with uh, uh, <coughs> nanochips uh, with rhodamine G on the uh, 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 silver nanochips. Uh, previous was with uh, gold nanochips. So our CR uh, works. And as a result, uh, was developed this uh, device, Fluoretest Nano, that allow us to uh, work with, with nanochips, with different structure, with different structure. This uh, may be uh, nano cylinders, nano holes, uh, and uh, this one is uh, uh, nano structure uh, obtained with thermal vacuum technology. And uh, this device allows us to work with uh, usual cuvette and with microscopic glass and with uh, special nanochips. Uh, the uh, device is patented uh, in the Ukraine. Uh, uh, device uh, has uh, uh, seven uh, source of the irradiation. This is um, three laser with different wavelengths and four, uh, four diodes, four lead diodes, that allow us to uh, cover, cover uh, wide range of the um, wavelengths and to work with different uh, uh, fluorescence materials. Uh, you see uh, our nanochips, the, our nanochips. Uh, the size of our nanochips allow us to work with usual qubit. This is special size for qubit. <coughs> uh, this is a, a system specification for our device. Our device allow us to uh, obtain the enhancement of fluorescence in uh, usually in nano uh, le nano level but for uh, fluor uh, fluorophores with uh, low quantum wild we can work in the um, uh, uh, in the more uh, sensitive uh, sensitive layer for femto level okay for conclusions uh, as a result of our works, we, uh, was the theoretical ground of fluorescence enhancement uh, was developed. Uh, Mi FDTD modeling uh, also was developed. Uh, uh, also, we uh, developed the uh, constructive design of device and nanochips. We prepare the set of plasma enhanced nanostructure and nanochip with different technology. Uh, Nanospectrometer and the laser based fluorimeter were manufactured. No, and uh, we uh, have the experimental uh, results, and our device now uh, used in the uh, uh, University of Shevchenko in the Institute of High Technology, and uh, the students work with our device as practical works. <clears throat> The uh, project was performed mostly by uh, Professor Demchenko, uh, Dr. Nazarenko, Dr. Lopatinsky, Dr. Kanyuk, Ma uh, Magister Litwin, 
And during uh, performing this project was uh, published uh, 22 publications in Ukrainian and international reference journals. Also, the uh, chapter in the book Manipulation of the Nanoscale Materials, uh, published in Cambridge in 20, in 20, uh, uh, 2012. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, for, the next hour, uh, for the next hour work, we uh, plan to develop in a two-channel flow mode device, and we plan to extend the spectral diapason of UV in UV and infrared part of bar, bar band. Uh, we plan to improve in the sensitivity of the device using orientation and position of, ho of hot spots on the surface of, of nanostructures. And uh, we plan to optimize the preparation method with higher order nanostructure arrays, uh, certificate, certificate of our device, and we plan to assimilate our device for world market. Uh, our acknowledgments for... Uh, Victor Vanch. Okay. You have no time. I finish. I finish. Oh, can read this. Okay. okay. Please read it. Have only one questions. We have only one minute for questions. Mm. Can you can you compare your development with a similar research research which is uh, also the Ukraine? Unfortunately. I'm not sure, uh, this is our first device, I'm not sure about the other devices. Uh, they use the uh, laser excitation of fluorescence, but they, 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 uh, they work in the same range. There is no bandwidth devices, at least in CIS in Europe. I, I'm not, I don't know any such device, but the sensitivity, the sensitivity is determined.